हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझ प्लस थ्री सी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस वीडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदे गोटे इंपोर्टे जिनस भिडज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सट अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर एडवांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूशन प्रति भिडज पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकू ड्रप डाउन लिस्ट रू तुम क्लिक कर डाउनलोड पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे जो मोर चेल नेम अच्छी या क्लिक कर तुम ये प्ले लिस्ट को जा प्रति भिडज को यूनिट वाइज एच पर सिलबस सजे रखी थी तुम सर्च कर ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज टपिक एप्लिकेसन अफ स्क्रडिंग इक्वेशन टू द केस अफ इनफाइनाइट पोटेनसीआल वेल ये विषय में पढ़ा and for this we have to consider the quantum confinement along one direction so one direction means it is similar to the problem of the particle in a one dimensional box right now in a quantum well which is a 2d structure the particles are confined to a thin sheet of thickness suppose small a along the x direction as you can see in this figure this is the x direction and this is the thickness small a right and it is confined by infinite potential barriers okay these are the barriers which are extended up to infinity right and this create the quantum well inside which the potential is equal to zero now in real systems this confinement is due to some of the regions like electrostatic potentials which are generated by external electrodes doping or strain or impurities etc otherwise the presence of interfaces between different materials or the presence of surfaces or combination of these agents right now e jo potential function achi this can be written by using boundary condition vx is equal to 0 inside the well so x is between 0 and a otherwise it will be infinity outside the well right then the schrodinger equation in this case a potential well within the region that is between 0 and a where vx is equal to 0 it will be this much minus h cross square by 2m d square psi by dx square psi is the wave function which is equal to e psi x e is the energy and the potential already we have taken to be 0 okay so we can write it like this okay and finally the format is d square psi by dx square plus k square psi equal to 0 right and here k square is equal to 2 me by h cross square these things you have already read in your quantum mechanics right now let us apply the boundary conditions for the wave function okay as per the boundary condition the wave function at the boundary that is 0 and a should be equal to 0 right so the solution of this equation 2 can be written as psi x equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx and here a and b are constants which we have to determine now let us apply the first boundary condition psi 0 equal to 0 from which we can get b equal to 0 so that psi x will be a sin kx now applying the second condition that is psi a equal to 0 will have a sin k a equal to 0 or sin k a must be 0 because a cannot be 0 right so we can get k to be equal to n pi by a now we can put this value thus the solution of equation 2 will become psi x equal to a sin n pi x by a now the next task is to determine the value of this constant a which can be determined by using the normalization condition of the wave function according to which integration 0 to a psi star psi dx should be equal to 1 and if you carry out this integration and solve it you will get a equal to square root of 2 by a right so finally the wave function is psi x equal to square root of 2 by a sin n pi x by a okay and this wave function actually represents the normalized eigen function of the particle inside the well now let us calculate the energy eigen value 
so for this we have k square equal to 2 m e by h cross square from which by putting the value of k we can have the value of energy to be equal to n square h square by 8 m a square okay so these are discrete energy states okay of the particle within the quantum well region that is inside the infinite potential well the energy states will be discrete but outside the well the particle energy will be continuous right and here small n is called the principal quantum number okay its value is 1 2 3 4 and so on now if we calculate the difference between two energy states that is e n plus 1 and e n then it will be equal to this much okay so from this expression the difference is inversely proportional to a square and directly proportional to 2n plus 1 okay that means if the dimension that is small a of the energy well will increase then the spacing between the discrete energy levels will decrease and vice versa so in the infinite crystal that is a bulk a continuum will occur right now from above analysis we have the confinement of particle motion will lead to discreteness or quantization of the particle energies and as it is directly proportional to n so the spacing between the energy levels will increase as the principal quantum number n increases right now finally let us have some idea about the zero point energy which is also the ground state or lowest energy for the value of n equal to 1 then in this case the energy e1 is equal to pi square h cross square by 2 m a square which is a non-zero quantity right so if we plot the energy eigenvalue and the eigen function then for the zero point energy that is n equal to 1 this will be the energy eigenvalue then the eigen function will be this one then the above one n equal to 2 will have energy eigenvalue related to zero point energy to be equal to 4 e1 okay this is actually e2 and the wave function is psi 2 its shape is like this and the upper one n equal to 3 is having e3 equal to 9 e1 and the wave function is psi 3 which is having this shape okay remember the energy e n is actually proportional to n square whereas the gap between two energy levels is proportional to 2 n plus 1 right Achha. so we can see this energy the zero point energy actually it is also called the confinement energy okay and its origin actually lies in the heisenberg's uncertainty principle since the particle is constrained within the finite region the variability in its position has an upper bound that is the uncertainty in its position is finite whose maximum value can be a okay which is the thickness of the wall right tapare ame koi pariba ethi je e jo uncertainty rouchi in the particle's momentum it cannot be zero okay so the particle must contain some energy in this lowest state okay because lowest state re ame dekhila zero point energy ro value ta non zero quantity asuchi tenu kari it will have non zero momentum also and the zero point energy actually increases with the decrease in the width of the well okay because we have seen the zero point energy e1 actually it is inversely proportional to a square okay so as the width or the thickness of the well is increasing the zero point energy will decrease and vice versa okay so this is all about the application of schrodinger equation to the case of infinite potential well thank you